Hello class two students. Today we will study second chapter of the social studies book and the name of the chapter is the northern mountain. We have already studied about the major physical divisions of India in the previous chapter. This brown color represents the northern mountain. We will study and discuss about the northern mountain in detail in this chapter. What is a mountain? A mountain is a large landform that rises above the surrounding land. It is usually in the form of a peak. In this mountain, you can see this is the peak of the mountain. Mountain range. It is a chain of mountains. And a hill is also a similar landform. It rises above the surrounding area. But it is not as high as the mountain. You can see the difference in this picture. The Northern Mountain The most striking physical feature of our country is the great mountain wall of the North. It separates the Indian subcontinent from the rest of Asia. The Northern Mountains include the mighty Himalayas and the adjoining Karakoram. The Himalayan range is the highest mountain range in the world. The word Himalaya is made up of two words, Him plus Alaya, and it means a lobe of snow or house of snow. The mountain wall of the Himalaya stretches in the form of an arc from Kashmir in the west and narrows down in Arunachal Pradesh in the east. The stretch of the Himalaya is about 2500 km in length. And the width, width varies between 150 to 400 km. Nepal and Bhutan are two countries that lie completely within the width of the Himalaya. The Himalayas consist of three mountain ranges which run parallel to each other. And they are divided on the basis of height. So they are called Greater Himalayas, Middle Himalayas, and the Outer Himalayas or Lower Himalayas. These three shades of blue, these represent those mountain ranges. So the first one, which is the Himadri or the Greater Himalayas, its height is around, on an average, its height is 6,000 meters above sea level. The Himachal, its average height is 5,000 meters above sea level. And the Shivalik Hills, its height is 1,250 meters above sea level. The Mount Everest, it is the highest peak, highest mountain peak in the world. It is located in the country Nepal and its height is 8,848 meters. India's highest peak is K2 and it is also the world's second highest peak. That is why this name K2 is given to it. Otherwise, its name is Gordon Austin and its height is 8611 meters. Himadri is made up of two words, Him plus Adri. Since it is that there the temperature is very cold, that is why that area is permanently covered with snow throughout the year and it is known as a mountain of snow. Himachal is also made up of two words, him plus Hachal, which means snowy snow. The first persons to climb the Mount Everest are Edmund Hillary, a New Zealander, and Tenzing Norgay, a Sherpa. They climbed the Mount Everest on 29th May 1956. And the first Indian woman to climb the Mount Everest is Vachendri Pai in 1980. The three main Himalayan rivers that originate in the Himadri are Ganga, Yamuna, and Brahmaputra. Ganga originates from the Gangotri Glacier, 
Yamuna from Yamunotri Glacier and Brahmaputra from Angsi Glacier. A glacier is a slow moving mountain of ice. And this is the picture of a glacier. When it starts melting, it takes form of a river. Passes. Passes are narrow gaps in the mountain range. You can see these are few passes. In the ancient times, the traders and the inventors and the invaders entered India through these passes. Khyber Pass, which is now in Pakistan, and the Karakuram Pass in Jammu and Kashmir, they are the highest and most difficult passes. This is the Karakuram Pass, which is part of Jammu and Kashmir. These are the Madri animals, snow leopard, black bear, giant panda, wild yak, and mastiff. Now we we'll start. Uh, we we'll get information about the Himachal Range. The Himachal Range, which is also called Middle Himalayas, it lies to the south of Himachal, and the average height of the mountain in this range is 5,000 meters above sea level. It receives snowfall during winter, and during summer, it snow melts and water flows into the river. This area is covered with thick forest of pine, devdar, oak, chestnut and fir. There are beautiful valleys in this region and a number of hill stations like Shimla, Nanita, Masuri, Manali and Darjeeling are also located in this region. This Himachal range is also famous for orchards. Orchards are the farms where fruits and nuts are grown. Famous apple orchards, pear and apricot orchards are found in Himalayan range. Also in the state of in the state of West Bengal, there is a place called called Dajli in the northwest Bengal and it has famous tea estate, tea garden and the Darjeeling tea is famous all over the world. Besides the hill stations, there are few pilgrimage centers also in the Himachal Bay. The pilgrimage centers are the places where people visit for religious purposes. Few of them are Amarnath, Kedarnath, Vaishno Devi and Badrina. Now we'll read, we'll study about Shivalik Hill. The Shivalik Hill. It is not a continuous mountain range, but broken at certain places. And it is it lies to the south of Middle Himalaya or Himachal Range. And its average height is 1250 meters above sea there are many valleys in the Shivalik hill. Valleys are low areas of land between hills or mountains. One such valley, these valleys, they are also known as Doon, and Dehradun is also located in one such valley. Farming is done on terrace floor, and fruits like apples and plums are grown here. The foothills of this range is a marshy area called the Terai. Marshy area is an area of land where water covers the ground for long periods of time. The Terai area receives heavy rain. Here winters are cool and summers are mild. That means neither too hot nor too cold. It has thick forests and a rich wildlife. Animals like tiger, leopard, deer, elephants, monkeys are found in this area. This area since has many wildlife available 
it also has many wildlife sanctuaries and national parks which have been developed by the government of india few of them are kobit national park rajaji national park simbalwara wildlife sanctuary and sukhna wildlife sanctuary along with the northeastern border of india the himalayan border appears lower in height that is and since it lies in the north area they are called purvanchal hills since they are lower in height these are uh, known as hills and not mountains few of them you can see in this map are naga hills mizo hills patkai bum garo khasi and jantia hills Now, what are the uses of Himalayas? The Himalayas they act as a natural barrier and keep India separate from the rest of Asia. The Himalayas also protect us from the cold, dry winds of the north. They trap the monsoon winds and prevent us with plentiful and provide us with plentiful rainfall and prevents the monsoon wind winds from escaping from India. The Himalayas are also source of many rivers that flow throughout the year and it carries fertile soil along with them which makes the plains area also fertile. The Himalayan rivers also help in generation of hydroelectricity. Hydroelectricity is the electricity which is generated through water. The thick forests they also provide timber and other forest products the forests are also rich in wildlife health resorts and many pilgrimage centers even many tourist places are also there in the himalayas and tourism is an important source of income for the people living in these hill stations